Uh, so New York City Cyber Command is the government agency in the city of New York that prevents, detects, and responds from cyber threats against city systems and provides residents, visitors, and businesses of the city of New York with tools that's so that they can lead safer digital lives. And our mission uh, is twofold, as I said. On the one hand, we have the enterprise mission, uh, and that's the enterprise mission is the reason we built the data pipeline. Uh, and we built it because we needed to solve a New York City-sized challenge, uh, not with a traditional approach, but with a new cutting-edge uh, cloud-first approach, uh, one that enabled the latest tools and technology to be applied at scale against our problem, one that would allow us to evolve into the future and to stay ahead of the threat. Um, we chose to build it using primarily open source components because of our government's commitment to uh, being a thought leader uh, in the things that we do and how we provide services uh, and our desire to give back over time to the community uh, and using open source tools and approaches uh, enables us to do that. Speed is important because we have in fact a machine to machine problem. Uh, if we look at the history of cybersecurity, we've gone from individuals for either criminal or other purposes typing things individually on a keyboard to now uh, it's not just the good guys that are using automation and machine learning it's the bad guys uh, you look at ransomware and other attacks those are mostly programmatic and systematic they sweep wide swaths of the internet uh, so we have to uh, use these same techniques to keep our systems safe and one of the primary ways we do that to operate at machine speed is to ensure that we're fast. Uh, so uh, uh, we process billions and billions of events, That's, we process hundreds and hundreds of thousands of events per second uh, and we do that by applying best practice data pipeline technology. Uh, we use a publish and subscribe framework uh, which means that we allow the right data to go to the right analytical or analytical process at the right time. Uh, generally speaking, the right time is right now. Uh, and so we do that because we want to enable our analysts to be at the speed of their fastest tool, not be held to the speed of their slowest tool. Uh, so our framework, this pipeline, enables us to use a variety of tools and techniques, uh, both programmatically and driven by uh, our human analysts. Uh, and we do that by architecting the system uh, to be highly reliant on metadata, uh, to be highly performant, uh, to be really fast because we know uh, our, uh, our residents, you know, our uh, constituents demand uh, an effective organization uh, and they demand reliable services. Fundamentally this is about ensuring that the services that residents, visitors, and businesses depend on are reliable uh, against cyber threats, and those threats uh, need to be responded to in machine speed, not in people speed. Broadly speaking, our events and our processing time, generally speaking, is less than 10 milliseconds, which is about 50 times faster than you can blink an eye, uh, or about the same speed as a, a camera shutter. Uh, and for example, um, some of the kinds of events that we process are that which our endpoint technology uh, makes available. Uh, we use endpoint technology to ensure that the systems that our applications and services run on are secure against attack. Uh, so there's a variety of data that these endpoint tools uh, make available that we ingest through our data pipeline, that we prepare, uh, and we allow both automated processes and human analysts uh, to interact with those uh, in near real time. We use an open source tool called Apache Beam, uh, which is a open source data management model. And what that means is, uh, is it enables you to write data transformations or to do things to your data, but to do it in a way that is highly parallel. So we're taking what is in fact a long series of sequential steps, breaking it up and doing them all at once, and then reassembling the outcome at the end. Uh, so there's no magic or secret. Uh, we're just applying best practices and open source tools in a novel way against our problem.